everyone, I'm Bali and today we're touring Toshinaka. I just finished this island last week, so today we have the final tour. Uh, if you haven't followed along the progress of this island, this is a Japanese-inspired island divided by a city side and a more rural or country side. And the uh, Toshinaka means exactly that, city and country and uh, the flag is supposed to represent that as well the rectangle is like the buildings <laughs> and then the little green thingy is supposed to represent the rice fields that are on the rural side and the four dots on top of this symbol are like the four kanji characters that make the, <laughs> the island name Living on this island, we have Pico, Genji, Marty, Mott, Chester, Pippi, Judy, Tangi, Chelsea, and Doby. And uh, some of the villagers have houses or apartments, others have little businesses. And uh, let's waste no more time and dive in. When we come out the airport, we're in the city side of the island and there's just some buildings, a road and I did decorate all the beaches uh, in this island you probably, if you've been around for a little while you probably know that that doesn't happen often you know, I usually don't decorate my beaches but I ended up decorating my all my beaches and making them accessible for the most part but you know i just kept them really simple i made them like look like normal beaches that you can find in real life because that that's just the vibe that i prefer and then we have some fake buildings there's there are a lot of fake buildings in this island and uh, in front of these beach we have or, or these buildings we have the Able Sisters and uh, I didn't really know where to put the Able Sisters so this may look a little weird here but I think it blends in nice enough you know nicely enough that beach over there is not accessible so I didn't really show it if you visit you can look at all the details with more time and uh, get different perspectives and all that we have the resident services here because it was the fishing tourney the day before we have Daisy May and KK Slider on the island but they won't show up on the DA right here we have Chester's ramen restaurant and since I've showed you how I decorated all the houses in different videos, I won't be showing the interiors today but you can definitely go and check them out if you find any villagers at home because all the houses are redecorated here we have Chelsea and Judy and they both have normal houses, normal apartments and this is like the clean and pastel side of the city up here we have Marty's cute cafe, like with a lot of Sanrio vibes, pencil colors, super cutesy. Then we have some fake buildings, again with the same color palette, you know, light blues, baby baby blues, <laughs> and bright pinks and whites. Uh, that beach uh, over there is also not accessible, but you can just look at it, you know. And here we have a school. I didn't have a lot of space for new codes, so I just have to like recycle codes. Here we have the residence house and I showed some of the interiors last week. But today I'm showing the other rooms that I didn't really show how I built them or decorated them. So the first room is like a city, like a street. Here we have a karaoke bar and then there's some public baths and um, of course the arcade downstairs and an Asian restaurant 
on the top floor and I really like how these interiors turned out and I'm happy that I was able to include some builds that I wasn't able to include in other areas of the island. Here we have a little shrine. Uh, on this island I didn't really do like temples or shrines or stuff like that like I did in Toki but um, I still try to add some of those buildings here and there kind of hidden away like they're not like super in your face that was just a little land bridge with a view here we have Pipi's store it's a little convenience store and we have a busy street here with Mott's apartment to the right, you know, <laughs> that house there. He is an anime artist in this island, so he has like a little studio apartment with a bunch of manga and anime stuff. And then when we come downstairs, we're again at the same area where we entered the island, you know, the airport is on the other side of the road and to the right we have a 7-Eleven and I did create the codes for this build and they will be available at the portal, the custom design portal that will be at the resident services. I ended up just uh, saving the codes like yesterday or something, I'm so sorry. But they're available now, so you can use them, both the 7-Eleven and the stairs to the subway. Here we have the museum and a beautiful double rainbow. I chose this day because of the like light rain and then the rainbows after the rain. I just think it looks so cute. <laughs> behind here, this area is behind uh, Pipi's uh, convenience store and like uh, you can see um, there's the view that you can see from the land bridge and uh, you know it's just a really simple area with a uh, um, parking lot and some stores some construction happening when I was building this area I didn't know if it was going to be accessible but, uh, you know, I ended up deciding to make everything accessible so you can see everything up close and get some photos with cute scenarios. <laughs> and then we have yet another land bridge. This land bridge is a transition between the city and the countryside. We have a huge view here with different spots. There's like a train, there's some kind of temple in the distance. And then you can climb up and get to like hang out in this roof and there's like this huge view that I really love. This was the first part of the view that I did, you know, that I worked on. And then we have Tangy's house and Citrus Orchard. I really like how big her house came out and um, her front yard or entrance. <laughs> is like I, I really like it and she has a normal house like our interiors are just a house <laughs> and uh, then we have a little street we have some more fake buildings and to the left we have Pico's tea farm that I, I, I think this is my favorite build in the whole island I really like how this turned out it's like a teeny tiny tea farm, but I think it's super cute. And I mean, it's Pico. She wouldn't have, she wouldn't like to have like a big farm to take care of, right? But I, I really, really like it. That area there behind these stairs is also accessible, but it's just like a passage. So I didn't really go there. But you can walk there if you'd like to. Now, more beaches. Uh, I <laughs> This was like my last straw of creativity. So it's really, really simple. 
I didn't do much at all. There's like a little bamboo forest and um, something here, something going on. Maybe they are doing some noodles or something. And then there's another rooftop that you can climb on. This one doesn't really have a view. It's just to chill, you know, but it's also it's also cool to chill by the sea, right? I just, I needed something to fill up that space. <laughs> then we have some more not, um, fake buildings, I guess. I just, I, I wanted to hide the cliff because I don't really like how the cliffs look in the game. I mean, with natural islands, I guess they can work, but you know, on islands that are a little bit more, that have more of a city vibe, I don't think they work that good, you know, or that well. And here's Daisy May. <laughs> I told you. This is just, you know, a little filler space between a commercial street and the beach. And for some reason, the villagers were all, all talking here, <laughs> you know, just maybe... Mott and Tangy want to know a little bit more about their businesses. I don't know. But we have the Nook's Cranny here. And I was also, uh, I was actually so nervous <laughs> about it upgrading, you know. But it did not upgrade. I'm happy about that. This is just a little passage. There's nothing really going on, but there's some fake buildings. And I think it looks cute that way. Then we have. Dobie's paper factory. I really like how the both Dobie and Genji's interiors came out. <laughs> I had to work with the little things that I had, but I really like how it turned out. And yeah, Genji has a umbrella factory. I think it's super cute. And when you visit, like there's a bunch of gifts and you can also get Genji's umbrellas. And we have the rice fields that are represented in the island's flag. And that's all. That's Tashinaka. You can visit the DA and uh, get the custom designs with these codes. And uh, as I was saying, you have you're going to have outfits in front of the Able Sisters at Tangis and Pico's houses. There are going to be handheld items in the entrance and on top of the snack and drink machines and uh, I think there's nothing else to add this was such a fun island for me to create I have become attached and it's going to be hard to say goodbye to this one but I'm also excited to start a new island I'll probably take a little break you know, not like uh, in terms of content but a break in terms of doing speed builds because I have to start a new island and need to get some villagers. So be ready for some villager hunts and some different content for a while. Check out the island's progress in this playlist. And uh, if you like the video, don't forget to like it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And thank you so, so much for being here today with me. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.